Hey everyone, Paul Permalo here. Last week we went over the bandsaw blade, how to measure the length, the width, and the amount of teeth on it. Today I'm going to show you how I install and set up a blade. First thing we want to do is make sure the bandsaw is unplugged. Not only unplugged, but turned off. So I'm going to remove the blade first and then we'll start showing you how to install it. The blade that I use most often is the one quarter inch wide, six teeth per inch. Also, the first thing I like to do before installing any blade is to remove the table. Two reasons. It's just easier for me, and it's going to be easier for you with the camera to see what's going on with the lower bearings. This bandsaw has six bearings three at the top, three at the bottom. These two are guide bearings. They're meant to go on each side of the blade to keep it from moving back and forth. This top one up here, this is called a thrust bearing, and it's meant to ride at the very back of the blade, so when you're pushing the wood through, the blade stays where it's supposed to be. First thing I do before installing a blade is make sure these are all the way to the back. Next, you want to lower the upper pulley. Turn your tension knob, bring the pulley down, enough that the blade will fit over. Take your blade, before you put it on the machine, ensure the teeth are going down on this side. It can happen where the blade is inside out and the teeth are actually pointing up. It's not going to cut very good that way. Then simply place the blade on the lower pulley and set it on the top. What I do next, I give it some tension, straightening the blade up, making sure they don't get hooked on the bearings. Doesn't have to be too tight right away, just to get it started. Next what I'm going to do is turn the top pulley. We're going to watch the blade that it's riding right in the center. There is a knob on the back that you can adjust and it will either move the blade forward or backwards. Keep turning the wheel, adjust it until the blade is running in the center. In order to set up the tension properly, we have to run the machine. So I'm going to put my guard on over on this side. How I set up the tension is something that's called the flutter test. If you don't have enough tension on your blade, it vibrates, it oscillates. So we're going to tighten up the tension, tighten it up until the oscillation stops and the blade runs true. Then we stop the machine and we add another full revolution to the tension. For this, the bearings are still pushed back. We don't want any interference with the blade. We'll turn on the machine and we'll try to watch for some flutter. There's lots of flutter right now. You can't even see the blade. I'm tightening up the tension a bit more until about there. Now the blade is running true. And now we give it an additional one revolution of turn on the tension knob. And that is properly tensioned. I've unplugged the bandsaw. Now I'm going to adjust the lower bearings. Then I'll put my table on and then we'll adjust the top bearings. The way we want it is we want to have the thrust bearing just behind the blade. Some people say to use a thickness of a piece of paper or a dollar bill. I do it so I can spin the blade and it should not touch the bearings. If you put any pressure at all on the blade, it should turn the bearing. We'll do the same for the lower ones. We're going to move the bearings forward so they're just behind the teeth. Tighten it down. We still just touching it in a spot. Once you can spin the blade several times and it does not touch any of the bearings, then that's properly adjusted.
and we'll do the same setup for the top bearings. Right behind the teeth and just behind the blade. Now you know when you can take a cut like this and pass it through itself that the blade is set up properly. Thank you very much for joining me on another video. Have fun, stay safe, and we'll see you next time.